Good morning, kings and queens. Today we are at Autocross. We got the BMW. It's been a while since we've autocrossed, actually. It's been quite a while. Um, so we're gonna just, we're going up right now for our very first runs. Uh, we're gonna try to just get in the zone as fast as we can instead of taking freaking till the end of the day. That's the goal, get in the zone early on in the day, see uh, how we're doing. First run, your finish. I think the fastest time was a 46 second run. That's a Miata on Hoosier tire. So we'll see how close we can get to that um, and go from there, yeah. So the course is pretty flowing. It looks like there's a crossover in it and that's pretty smooth and straightforward for most of it. So it should be pretty good. It's not gonna be a Miata course, uh, which I resent so much. So uh, that should be fun. It's been quite a while. We are running the Yokohamas like we usually do. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry I'm being boring. Okay, I kind of, the first run group took so long working grid that I kind of forgot what the course is like, so we're just going to take it easy. We're going to enter left on that slalom. Crossover again, we're gonna go left. Eight, seven. I think the fastest time was a 46. I mean, first run, two seconds off fastest. Maybe it got down to a 45. Um, not bad, not bad, not bad. I also got my tire pressure set. We ran like 28 pounds. That's not a 59 second run, that's for sure. So I either get a rerun or it's just not up to you. All right guys, that last run felt way faster. Um, somehow I went three seconds slower, but a lot of people said they also went a lot slower. So there must be timing issues. So we're gonna go figure that out and see if we can figure out how fast I really went. All right guys, so last weekend we instructed a uh, golfer and he came out here. I suggested he come out here to learn some car control and he's here. So we're gonna go out for a ride once he gets back and yeah. Also, a big thing with autocross is like the biggest, biggest piece of advice I can give you guys is looking ahead because we don't have like a road course laid out in front of us. So being able to just like dictate, um, being able to navigate and react fast is key here. So looking ahead is your best tool you can use. So here, I'm not, I'm probably going to like six tenths pace, but if we're looking ahead, we're already looking out this window and then we see we have this section here. And this is a little bit of a sea of cones here, right? So it's kind of hard to tell until you get here. And then this pointer cone, we actually need to be left on. So we need to be over here. And then just biggest thing, look ahead, make sure you're looking because your body can react and you can make the proper decisions. I'm gonna up the pace a little bit just so we can kind of show some rotation. So this slalom is pretty straightforward. I 
accidentally made a phone call. That's <laughs> why I keep doing that. We did that last time. Yeah, that's right. I remember. <laughs> what the hell? If the buttons are here, I'm, I guess oh, I just barely. there you go. So, did you feel how the car kind of started rotating yeah. out a little bit? Yeah. Yep. So, so with that, you want to use a little bit of that to navigate around tight corners. So instead of getting understeer, you can use a little bit of that rotation to get you around corners at a higher speed. Because the car's front end doesn't want to push through to the exit. It wants to kind of pull itself around, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'll ride with both of you guys here on your next runs. I think, who is next anyway? Me. So I'll hop in the passenger seat real quick. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll sit here and watch. All right, guys. So that last run we did um, was my fastest, 46.7 but it hit a cone, so it doesn't count. So I'm sitting second place right now in class. I would have put me in first place, but uh, tires felt like they're starting to finally adhere. It's weird. These yokes are supposed to warm up really fast, but they're just not warming up fast. So I don't know what that is. Uh, they are worn out. They could be at the end of their life, um, but we should go fast in the afternoon. Um, so I think low 46 is possible, even maybe a high 45. Um, We'll see. I feel like I got in the zone a lot faster today though. I was able to take the autocross line, not try to adjust the road course line into an autocross line, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, my third run is like three seconds slower than everything else I've done. And I think that's terribly incorrect because that run was actually a really good clean run. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna really argue too much because we got more runs to go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go work grid real quick, but you guys aren't gonna see that. So next thing we're gonna be in the car now. All right, guys, we're about to go up. Um, looks like everyone in the afternoon went faster, which is usually expected. It's kind of funny. Autocross, you go faster later in the day, and at the road course, you go faster earlier in the day. So it's kind of like because we get we need the heat in our tires, and when at the road course, it we, that heat starts to degrade from the times. It's just kind of like a funny parallel, though. So we're gonna go up. Um, I think a low forty-six is the goal, or even a high forty-five. We'll see what we do. <laughs> Is that my time? 45.8? <laughs> I was feeling it. I was like middle of the course. I'm like, yeah, this is the run. So I did say 45.6 on leaving the line. It was actually 45.8, but we did a 45.5, so I actually shaved three tenths off. Hello. Hello, there you record. Um, so where that put me now is I'm now fifth raw time and third in packs. That pushed us up very high up the list. So cool. <laughs> Five point five one dash. Cool, I got a dash in my number. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
flying through that finish. I had to like really cook the speed down. Woo! Broke into the 44s. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay guys, that 44.919 was a clean run. Um, and what's good about that, I think I'm still fifth raw, but I am first in packs now. Okay, that Miata took off a 10th on his last run, um, but he plused one to Cone. I'm not sure if that's enough to put him in front of me in packs. Um, so let's just go faster. That seems like the best defense mechanism to hold my first PAX place. So we'll see if we can go faster. It went faster, took off about almost a tenth. So, like I said, best defense mechanism is if I keep walking away with more time, it puts more of a gap between us. So, oh, that took like all my focus and energy to get that. <sighs> okay, uh, the Miata that I was talking about beat me in packs on his last run, so now I need to go faster, and this is my last run. Uh, uh, so yeah, we gotta go do it now. Uh, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Cone gotta have a little fun, right? <laughs> oh well. That was fun though. That was fun. Okay guys, so that's the end of the day. We did throw away that last run, but it's okay. You know, we did our best. Second place packs is pretty good in my opinion overall, right? So first place in class, second place packs, fifth raw. And I think we had like a hundred cars here today. So I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good standings in the end. So I'm really proud of myself, proud of this car. I feel really good about today. Um, I feel really good about getting in the zone a lot faster. Um, even though the times in the morning weren't accurate, we never got that result that I didn't really care because I know the afternoon times would be a lot faster. So, and then just being able to click the, the driving line, the, the, the approach to driving lines you take at autocross is a lot different than a road course. It's a lot different, it's a lot the same in the end, it boils down to what's the fastest line through. At a road course, you're generally trying to maximize your exit speed, so that way you can get the fastest speed on the next straightaway, because there's always some sort of small straightaway linking corners at a road course. But at autocross, it's honestly a lot of corners mixed together. There's not really many straightaways, so you're really just kind of setting yourself up for the fastest mid-section line. Um, and there's not, or setting yourself up for either the fastest mid speed line or mid corner line, um, or setting yourself up for the next corner. And it's kind of a gamble, not really a gamble, but more of a strategy for uh, your line placement. So, and I feel really good about being able to, I think my first few runs, I did kind of take the road course approach, a really wide entry, swoopy in, slow in, fast out, etc. cetera, blah, blah, blah. I'm rambling like an old man, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Really proud of myself because I did a really good job adjusting to what I need to do for autocross. So really stoked. So anyway, we're gonna head back home. Uh, next next video will be drift a bit. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time.